How y'all doing today? Welcome to another edition of Black Colonel Sanders Kitchen. And today, we're going to be making a chicken in a rotisserie. So I'm going to show y'all what I did to this chicken that we're going to put in a rotisserie before we put it in the rotisserie. So while you're watching this video here, Black Colonel Sanders is going to get his workout on. And you see, I got my workout suit on. I done slimmed up. I found this nice little southern girl. So I'm trying to lose a bit of weight. You know, because I can be pushing. But y'all watch this video over here while I get my workout on. Mm. Mm. That's how you do that, like Michael Jackson. And then you push it, and then you push it, and you push, and push, and pull, and push. And pull. Woo! Oh. See, I just got my hair done. Went to the players' ball yesterday. Got all my curls did. Oh, I think I'm gonna work it out. Cooking chicken. Woo! All right now. See that video is still going, but I think I'm already tired. I done cooked enough fucking chicken for one day. But Black Curtis Sand is still here. We still waiting for that video to finish, and then we gonna pop the chicken in the rotisserie. So, since that video's still cooking, and uh, I'm tired of working out so far, we gonna talk about the spices that I put in that. I want all y'all to know about black garlic. It's like regular garlic, but it's black. And if they say once you go black, you don't go back, you ain't ever gonna try another garlic, except that black garlic. So, that is one of my special seasons. And then Sylvia's Soul Food Season Salt. I didn't use this. I used some Lowry's because Lowry's is better. But I know Sylvia from back in the day. You know, I used to put some spices on her. But that's neither here nor there. While we still waiting for this video to finish up, I don't know what else more to say. So, let's see what else I'm going to say while this goddamn chicken is waiting. I'm going to introduce y'all to the actual chicken that this is going to be from. This here is the actual chicken that the video is showing you. It quite it, it ain't quite done yet, but uh, shit this hair. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. And I'm pretty sure the video is still playing, so we just gonna sit here and kick it. Just me and you, people out there in TV land. Woo! Do you like my hair? I like my hair. Took me a lot of time to curl it. See that hang down? Woo! It's a long ass two minute video. I done already got hot because of all this. What in the hell is going on with the video? Is it over? Is it started? I have no idea. So, I don't know if I done got to the end of the video or the beginning, so while we doing that, we about to get started. First, you did all that stuff in the video there. Now we about to unwrap the chicken. All right, I let it sit for 48 hours. And now, we're going to unwrap it. Oh, I don't know how many times I wrapped this chicken. But I wrapped it like a little baby. So, once you get your baby chicken out of all the goddamn wrapping stuff, it is time. Oh, look at that. That look like a good chicken. All right. You keep all that, just throw shit to the side. Throw all that. Now I'm gonna show you how you're supposed to stick the chicken. All right, we got our rotisserie things, and you want to separate them, and you want to stick the chicken right here in the front two breasts. All right, make sure it come out through the legs a little bit. All right, now we're going to put our chicken. Alright, in the rotisserie. I will leave your wings and your legs out like it is, because once it cook, all that'll get fried. Now, I'm going to put that in the rotisserie. I'm going to turn that on for. Oh, is it plugged up? No. Oh, what's wrong with the rotisserie? No. Hold on, folks. My rotisserie not working. There we go. Now we're going to put that on 
by two and a half hours. And I will be right back with Miss Chicken. Now here's a special look at the chicken starting the rotisserie. We got two minutes and 30 seconds. You see those wings, how they spread open? You want it to do that. I want it to do that because I want it to eat it. So I can't wait for it. And look at that thing. Oh Lord. As y'all can see, it's cooking up very nice. We still got a minute and 30 to go. But as you can see, that wing's already blackened. And I'm just gonna love to eat this teriyaki whole chicken. Look at it. All right, y'all. You see, it's still going steady, going strong. We still got an hour left. But if the white thing pop before that, because I love it when them white things pop, then I will take it out. But as you can see, the chicken looking fine. All right, y'all, that chicken still kicking and cooking. It's a little bit blackened, but I like it that way anyway. We still got a half an hour to go, or whenever that little thing, that little white thing right there pop out, that's when the chicken done, it's gonna pop out. It ain't pop out. Woo-wee. All right, y'all, two hours, 15 minutes, the thing has popped out, and now it's time for me to pop this thing down. So first, I'm gonna turn it off. Ooh. I think I meant to give it a no heat rotation, meaning it's still gonna turn, but the heater is not on. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm gonna slice it open. Let you see the insides. Look at it. Cool. All right, y'all. I'm going to attempt to pull this thing out. You stay right there. All right, we have success in pulling it out. I don't usually like to pull out. Cause who does, let's be honest. All right. <coughs> that over there. Thank the rotisserie. Get Mr. Red here. Cut it open right from that side. Mm. You can see yeah, I cut a piece for you. Oh, look at that right there. I think I'll try that. Mm. Finger licking, 